Hi guys, so it has been a while, and I know that. Um, you'd think with this quarantine I would have a bunch of time to make videos. And I did, I just, I had school, and then I just was lazy. So, yeah, let's get started. Today's video is going to be a book review on the Renegades series. Um, I've, I'm honestly, I, are, I finished this book and then the second one I'm on a, I'm on the third one um I I just didn't have I mean I had time to do the book review I just probably didn't want to so let's get started the renegades are a syndicate of prodigies humans with extraordinary abilities who emerged from the ruins of a crumbled society and established peace and order where chaos reigned as champions of justice they remain a symbol of hope and courage to everyone except the villains they once overthrew Nova has a reason to hate the Renegades, and she is on a mission for vengeance. As she gets closer to her target, she meets Adrian, a Renegade boy who believes in justice and in Nova, but Nova's allegiance is to a villain who has the power to end them both. This was such... Okay, I, okay. Let me start off by saying this. I started this a while ago, and then I stopped reading it for some reason. I honestly can't remember why, but I stopped reading it. Because I wasn't into it that much. Like, when I started it, I guess I was on another series or something. And I was just, like, reading this to pass the time or something. I honestly, I, I don't remember. So, um, I ended up just not reading it until recently. After I finished, I finished, what series was that? I can't remember what series it was. But I finished a series and I was, like, I was having such a hard time trying to figure out what I was supposed to, what I should read next, and it was, oh, if you hear, um, something in the background, it's my dog, um, so, yeah, so it's basically, a, like, what it said, it's about a girl named Nova, who is, a, a villain, who can put people to sleep by a touch, and she doesn't sleep at all, so she, um, um, she goes, She's on this mission to end the Renegades, and she almost kills this guy, uh, Captain Cronium. He's the biggest superstar Renegade. Sorry, I keep calling this. Um, and stuff. And um, she almost kills him, but she ends up not, you know, not doing it actually. And um, she has her her accomplice Cyanide, and uh. Honey Harper, or Queen Bee as they named her, um, they're like, why don't you just infiltrate the Renegades? Like, they have, because they have this trial every year to see who, uh, should become a Renegade, and she infiltrates them, and, um, she ends up, like, meeting Adrian, and she starts falling for him, and they go on all these missions, and one of their first missions is a stakeout of, um, of, Oh my gosh, the librarian, who is an arms dealer too, um, and stuff. And then Detonator, Detonator, uh, what's her name? Gretchen, no. Ingrid, uh, is, is one of her accomplices who tried to assassinate Captain Cronium, um, and stuff. Uh, she ends up going in there, and she's not supposed to be there. Or, she is. Her and Nova come up with this plan, you know, to divert the running games and stuff. Well, then Ingrid goes off off script and tries to kill them all right there. Um, and it's just, it, it goes crazy. And then, um, it, at the end of the book, uh, she ends up killing, uh, Nova ends up killing Ingrid because she's trying what are you, sorry, Bogey is a little crazy, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I got a dog, um, uh, I, anyway, so, um, but yeah, and then, what else, oh, uh, so, Adrian has a secret identity as the Centennial, and that's, it's not how they first meet, it's how, uh, they basically first meet, uh, when Magpie, sounds weird, it's a weird name, but, uh, she steals Nova's bracelet, and Adrian knows, because uh, she's a renegade too, but Nova, or, Nova doesn't know that they know each other, I guess, what is he doing, 
So, uh, she ends up, he's like, hey, give that back. And he fixed the clasps on it and stuff. And it, it's just weird. So, they meet and stuff. But then, he is the centennial. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I think I'm Okay, this is the Centennial, and this is Nova. Her name is Nightmare. I think I said that, but uh, she's a villain as known as Nightmare. And this is the Centennial, which is also Adrian. And it's his super... His superpower is basically he can bring anything to life, like, by his draw... Like, if he draws something, he can make it 3D. Um, or, yeah. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really cool. It's it's a really cool gift. Um, but he imbues him, or he gives himself tattoos that gives him special powers. It's all on, on intention. It's like his intention. Like, he has a fire tattoo, and he has a, a concussive beam tattoo, and he has springs on the soles of his feet and stuff. It's all about intention, like, with his drawings. He can make it do whatever he wants. Like, Yeah. So, um, they first meet as, they meet as Adrian and Nova, you know, like, as themselves, but then he go he comes as a centennial, and she comes, and, you know, he, she's Nightmare, and they start, they have a battle, and she gets away, and, um, so when she infiltrates the renegade, she doesn't know that he's the centennial, nobody knows he's the centennial, and he's apparently the most hated one of the most hated villains, uh, or not villains, but, like, one of the most hated, um, vigilantes, um, in the city, because he breaks the rules, and he, you know, just doesn't follow their code, and it's not like Adrian. Adrian knows that he's done this stuff, but, like, he doesn't feel sorry for it, because he's getting the bad guys. And it's not even about fame for him, as the centennial, it's just about getting the bad guys. But he'll do whatever is necessary to get the bad guys. And that's the pro Blum kind of is the problem. Really, it's the code. Like, the renegades, just their code is awful. Like, you know. Anyway. So, Ingrid... Okay, so now at the end of the book, Ingrid dies and Nova lives. And they try to get... They try to get um, Adrian off of Ni Nova's trail. They stage this whole battle and where they're supposed to supposedly kill each other so that he'll think that so that he'll think that Nightmare's dead. But um Ingrid does die, but no obviously Nova doesn't. It's just he thinks she did, but he's not really he's not really convinced. Um so sorry. <laughs> um and stuff. And so yeah. But yeah, and, and just, oh, it's, it's an interesting series. I, yeah, it's really good. I just, I have, I don't know, I'm sorry. It's been a, okay, a long time. I, it's, I just finished the second book, and so it's really hard to remember what happens in the first book for some reason, because this is, I guess the second book is fresher in my mind, and then this third one is, you know, I just started it, so it's like, yeah, but... Yeah, so, yeah, that's, this is, yeah, the book. I'm sorry, this is such a bad video, but I am too lazy to care. But yeah, this is the Renegade series. I, I highly, kind of highly recommend it, because I, I mean, I liked it. It's just, I don't know, I, it, by this video, you probably don't even want to read it, but I would. It's really good. But yeah, so stay tuned for this, for the second book, because I'm, actually getting ready to film it. So yeah, bye.